Make it stop! What's going on YouTube? I have the solution to your fish storage when you're kayak fishing. You don't want to put a cooler on your kayak and it weighs you down. And it's uh, tough to lug around. You put them on a stringer. Let's say you catch uh, some sizable fish, you put them on the stringer. You're either going to run out of room on your stringer or they're going to end up towing you around when you're drifting around. So you have a fish cage. You get this for five dollars and I think 47 cents on Walmart's website. Um, so I came up with a nifty solution and I got to be honest, it's uh, it's not my solution. I stole it from saltwater fishing uh, uh, videos on YouTube, but I thought I'd show you a lot of freshwater guys don't know. And every time I'm out, I always get comments. So you go to this Walmart, you buy a pool noodle. And it's really simple. You just measure it around. I've already pre-cut it. Measure it around like that, and now it's going to float. So you just need some twist ties, three three twist ties to be precise. So you just start at one end, feed it through the cage and around the pool noodle. Get it tight, and you just, it's got this nifty little lip, it just fits really, really well in there. Just do another one, you might actually do more than three twist ties, just to get it all snug and kind of pretty. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to keep your fish fresh when you're out all day on the water. Oh, I did not just do that, YouTube. I just zip-tied the handle to the pool noodle. That's ridiculous. All for the love of me. I gotta clip. Yeah. It happens. These ones are pretty clipped. Good lord. Yeah, we'll go back into this one without zip tying the damn handle. I mean, darn handle. Excuse my language. Under. And then I think one more, and it'll be good. And these zip ties. The last one I made, the pool noodle lasted for uh, about three years. So, can't complain about that. Uh, this pool noodle was 98 cents at Walmart. So, that's a pretty good deal for something. That they, <clears throat> they probably sell something like this on a website somewhere for. 15 or 20 bucks, but you can just do it yourself. So you got all these things, you just clip them off. Here we go. Of course you got your string, you know, that's how you don't think. And that'll float. I've had up to somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds of channel cats floating this beside my kayak. Now I will say one thing, it's a, it's a great way to keep them fresh. But I will say um, that if you're trying to kayak around, like like when I channel catfish out of my kayak, I uh, I go to one spot and I catch, and then like I'll move. When I move, I will pick it up and I'll I'll put this in the kayak with me, and I'm not traveling more than five, you know, six minutes to another spot on the lake, whatever, in the kayak, five or six minutes paddling, that's a long time, but. Uh, uh, I'll pick it up because it does create a little bit of drag in the water. Um, but I just pick it up, put it in my kayak with me, usually between my legs, and then when I get to a new spot, I just dump it right in the water. 
And, uh, you know, the, the fish just swim around. They stay fresh. They stay healthy until you're ready to put them on ice. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Tell me your comments. I fresh fish water. If you guys uh, are interested in a topic, uh, you know, leave it below in the comments, and uh, I'll see if I can cover it. Thanks for your time. Take it easy, YouTubers.